listen to the video on the same um, day. That's why I have the same outfit on. Woo! <laughs> okay, so as you can tell from the title, I, I don't know what it is with me and doctors. Um, I just don't know what it is. <laughs> but um, keep watching to the end because I have a big, big surprise. All right, so before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so we can all be engaged and we can um, have a conversation about the things that I go through on a daily basis as being a nurse. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, guys, so this day, this day, this day was a really busy day for me. Um, I, I was running around all freaking day and it was, I think it was a weekend. Something like that. So we're gonna call this Doctor Doctor Sassy Pants because he was being sassy. All right. So I had this patient. We're gonna call her Mildred. So Mildred had came in. Um, she was having some visual disturbances and. She was an older lady, so, um, but she had got admitted for, not admitted, but she had got uh, held for, she wasn't admitted to the hospital. She had got held for um, altered mental status. So, normally when older patients come to the hospital and they're altered, they're not like themselves, we look at their urine. Because, of course, this patient's probably gonna have a positive urine, they're gonna have a UTI, and we're gonna treat that and they're gonna be unaltered. Unaltered, is that a word? Okay, because UTIs present differently in elderly patients. This patient, her urine was superb. Like, superb, nothing was wrong. And so I'm like, oh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so they had consulted a neurologist on Mildred, the patient, and so we have two people that come and see the patient. Well, it depends on which neurologist is working. So it was one, the neurologist, and then it was another, which is an NP that we have working with the neurologist to get patients seen faster. So we had the NP come and see the patient at first. Then the neurologist came and the neurologist was like, well, I'm gonna order an EEG. If the EEG is negative, then we will just send her home because with um, visual disturbances, there is, we don't want to treat her with medicine or things like that. That can just be early signs of dementia, things, something like that. And the patient's daughter had said she wasn't really altered. It was just she wasn't acting like herself with the visual disturbances. So, fine. So, we're like, okay, she's probably going to go home. But the... NP, who works alongside the neurologist, came back and told me she was worried because the patient was having like really bad headaches and that they wanted to do some more imaging to rule out um, anything else before they send the patient home. So she would want to keep her overnight again. So Dr. Sassy Pants, I hadn't had a... a um, a chance to tell Dr. Sassy Pants, but around 5.30, he rolls around and comes to see the patient for the first time. And so he's in there talking with the patient's family. Um, and if you work in a hospital, you know how doctors are. They um, just try to speed through things. Some of them. Just try to speed through, the, through things. They'll cut the patient off get the patient talking too long and just try to speak through things. So he was telling the patient, he was like, yeah, so we've ordered a CT and once that comes back negative, um, sorry, once that comes back negative, we're gonna send you home. And so I said, oh, the MP said that she wanted to keep her overnight and you know, do the, some more imaging, which was the CT. Or whatever but she she specifically told me that she wanted to keep this patient overnight oh I guess that set him off because in front of the patients in front of the patient family 
he was like, Diamond, let me finish! I had to take a take a step back because I'm like, am I his child? Am, am I your child? Because you just disrespected all of me. Like, you just... You really just disrespected me. And did I have I ever yelled at you in my whole entire life? No. So I walked off. I walked off, and when I walked off, I felt like he started picking with me because when I walked off, he was like, "Diamond, you're leaving. So you either want me to stay here and say some unprofessional words to you, or you want me to leave. I think you want me to leave." So I, I just had to ignore him and I continued to walk off. So when he came out the patient's room, he, he, um, what did he do? He was talking to me about trying to hurry up and get the results so he can get the patient out, blah, 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 blah. And sometimes I don't like when doctors like to brush things through and they send home, patients home prematurely. Like I understand some patients, we can get some of these patients out. But you don't, this wasn't a patient that you're, you should be rushing out the door so soon. Like, and then it's 5.30. How are we going to rush something that we can't rush, some results, to be done by 6.45, 7 -ish. It And it's not, it's not, it wasn't a stat test. So he was trying to tell me to call around to have the results put in stat. You cannot do that. If the test wasn't stat, the results are not going to be stat. So, so he was talking to me, and I was ignoring him. I wasn't even looking at him. I wasn't paying him no attention, no nothing. And so that's when I guess he was like, well, let me apologize. And so he was like, oh, I'm sorry if I offended you or something like that. And I was like, well, you did offend me. And I would like for you to respect me as I respect you. I'm not your child. You don't have to yell at me or catch a temper tantrum. No, I didn't tell him not to catch temper, uh, not to catch temp, ugh, not to catch a temper tantrum. But you're gonna respect me just as I respect you. I am not above you. You are not above me. We're on the same level here. We're all here for one purpose, and that is for patient care. You no, this it's not gonna work like that. Cause I, I'm just I. You're not gonna talk down at me. You're not gonna talk at me. We're gonna talk together. We're gonna have a conversation. I'm just, I'm really confused and I'm really kind of proud of myself because I always thought that I would let doctors talk to me any kind of way. But I didn't know that doctors talk like this. Like, no, you're not gonna, no. You're not gonna belittle me or nothing like that because I do my job and I do it damn well. And I'm here for the patient as the patient's advocate. So, sir, calm it down. Calm it down. So, um, yeah, after that, he, was, he tried to be nice and things like that. But I have a hard time with just, like, snapping back. Like, when I get, when somebody make me upset, just snap it back on. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's definitely not going to work. You, give me till the next day. Because right now, you're on my, you're on my, you're on my other list. <laughs> and guess what guys the patient ended up staying so this is my thing doctors love to go in the rooms of patients and tell them one thing and then the they leave but the patient is looking at us like uh what's happening i thought we was going home and they're not really going home like okay let me give you a quick quick story so this one patient she was getting a bowel prep and she was supposed to go for a colonoscopy. Of course, if you're not clear, you can't go for a colonoscopy because they're not gonna stick a tube in there and they can't see. So I'm trying to convince the patient, drink the go lightly, drink the go lightly, and she's like, no, no, no. So when the patient, because she's like, I mean, I'm bleeding anyways, it's not gonna clear me out. Yes, it is, but whatever. So when a doctor came, the GI doctor came, she told the patient, okay, we're gonna go ahead and do it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do the procedure. She was like, even with me bleeding, I said, and she said, the doctor said, yes, we're gonna, we're scheduled for this time, blah, 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 blah. So I prepped the patient and everything. They called me, pre-op called me at 2.30. Is the patient clear? Of course not, but the doctor said it was okay. Here comes the doctor calling me three minutes later. 
Is the patient clear? No, but you said you would do it. Okay, well, I don't think it's worth it. So um, we're just not gonna do the procedure today. Tell her continue with the bowel prep and we will do it tomorrow. Try tomorrow. Well, gee, look, look at here, look at here. Like, I'm just confused. You get to tell the patient some good news in the morning. But I got to be the one to tell the patient the bad news. So when I go in there and tell the patient, oh, the doctor's not going to do the procedure today because you're not clear, they get on me and yell at me because they were told something else and they think I'm the one stopping them. I'm just like, and then you, you, you as doctors want to talk down at us nurses, but y'all don't know what we go through we have to be with the patients 24 7 when you guys get to be with the patients for five seconds so we deal with all the attitudes all the sass all everything so you will not you will never as a doctor you will never talk down on me we will talk to each other and have a conversation never we're we're on the same level i know you went to school longer than me you make more than me but that's all right Cause we both here for a what are we here for patient care what you not here to look better than me and i'm not here to look better than you sorry not sorry but you're not you're not gonna do me like that Whew. so yes that's another thing you have to deal with as a nurse working in a hospital and i'm pretty sure that's probably everywhere um, some places are probably worse than others. Some doctors are probably worse than others, which they are. There are some doctors that I actually love. Um, and I feel like we're on the same level. And update on that last doctor that I had did the story about. Yeah, we're okay. He, he don't talk at me or down at me or nothing like that. We're on the same level. I think, I think we're fine and dandy. Um... As long as I do my job, he does his job, there's no problems. No problems. <laughs> so I think and I, I think as long as you do it in a professional way, it's okay. Because I feel like it's, some, some doctors are just arrogant like that and they're going to keep yapping and talking at you like that. And once you put them in their place in a professional way, they'll know, oh, I can't, I can't do it like that. Mm -mm. And so sometimes that just has to happen. So guys, here's my surprise. I'm having a baby. Ooh. Ouch. Yay. So I was really supposed to been, um, <laughs> I was really supposed to been reveal this, but I never edited the video. So I'm, I'm gonna edit this video and put it out there. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Peace.